All right, so I'm gonna do a simple little unboxing here of a Corsair um, M65 Pro gaming mouse. It's RGB here, so it's any color that you can imagine, and it's got it's supposed to have three color zones. So I've never actually uh, seen this mouse, but. We're gonna give it a shot here. I'll cut the tape and then I'll come right back. Okay, I got the cape, the tape all cut off there. Let's see if I can open it. Well, maybe not. All right. Well, let's let's try to dive into this now. Set the box over there to the side. Doesn't that look pretty nice? It'll go pretty well with my uh, keyboard that's very dusty. I need to clean that. Um, how does this come apart now, guys? Uh, one moment. Okay, got that a little better. Here's our nice little Instruction booklet. Might need to look into that to figure out what I need to download for this mouse to work properly. Um, it is just in here, and oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! There's people in their holes that you have to stick this through. See, this has to go through. Hole. All of it does. Okay, there. Wow. That's that's complicated. Huh. The USB is really thick. I think that would cause some issues being that thick. But here we are. I'm going to have to figure out what all the screws do. I honestly would say that these do some adjustments to it, but we're going to find out. It's really light. Really light. It's almost as light as this Mamba without a battery in it. And it's got a... Um little velcro thing here for the cord it doesn't want to let me undo the cord but I'm gonna plug this thing in and show you what it looks like okay here it is plugged in with the standard colors lit up here and it lights up way back inside there and the front of it, up here, lights up. I think it can be a separate color than this button because they don't look to be quite the same color. Um, oh, it feels nice. Really, it does. Hmm. I don't know what this is changing right now. Oh, definitely the sensitivity. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's the sensitivity. Okay, that's neat. Wow, red there. You can hardly move it across the screen. Green. Uh, that That's kind of my um, normal speed here. All right. So, I'm gonna figure out how to change colors with this thing now. Be right back. Okay, so I got to this point. Um, you find, you go to products here, go down to mice, find your mouse. And, uh, this one's the one that I bought. Got it here. All right, now we're gonna go to downloads, and then you click download. 
down here to download this file. So then you do that, you install it, uh, you get this, yada, yada, you click on this, you click open. And now we're here. What do you want it to be? Well, I'm English, so we're gonna go with English. Welcome. Okay. Next. I accept. Next. Next. Oh, wait. Where is that putting that? Oh, fuck it. I don't care. Um. Install. Copying. Oh my goodness. I'll get back to you when this part's done. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's gonna be fast. Alright, we'll, we'll give it a second. Okay, cool. Finish. Said it's gonna start it up. Okay, device. Here we go. There's an update. Yeah, I guess proceed. 3%. Oh, okay, now we're just gonna just fill it up now. Yeah, just had to think about that after that 3% there. Okay, update successful. Cool. Lighting. Rainbow. Probably, probably just a solid color. Okay, red, that's perfect. Apply to all zones. Okay, there. Now, performance. Okay, so we have the white color enabled. So we are going to uh, the green one is the one that I liked. So we're gonna change the green color actually to red too. We're gonna click OK here. All right, there we go. Now we have the entire mouse. Red, see, it's even red down there. It shines all over the place, and there it shines all over the place. That looks better. And just just for um, simplicity, let's make this a rainbow real quick. So right here, we'll change this one to orange. And then we'll change this to yellow. Uh, where the fuck is yellow? I guess that's yellow enough. I'm not gonna use those colors anyway. Um, after red, what comes next? Purple. And then I wouldn't imagine a light blue in the rainbow, so. <clears throat> so there. I mean, it is, it's still a rainbow co color, yeah, because we started at the, we didn't start, I guess the rainbow is a circle, pretty much, but we just don't have green in our circle. So yeah, there we go. And then, yeah, you can adjust here all of these settings for the mouse to control what the buttons and everything does, but, you know, I don't feel like doing all that. Oh, and to mention, there there are a button here and a button here that makes those two, and then there's this big red one there. That's actually going to be nice because I'm going to be able to have an extra button here because I like to have, on my old mouse, I had it on reload, uh, and maybe it was knife and reload, or reload and knife, something like that with these two. I haven't played a first person shooter on my PC for a while, but um, I had my knife and my reload on these, so that way I could keep my <clears throat> fingers on the movement keys more often. Because see, I didn't have to reach up there for reload, and melee was F there. Yeah, so 
I could even switch, see, G is still way out there, grenade, so I could even switch, um, this red button to reload, and these to melee, and, um, or even this one could be melee, because my thumb will be right there on it, and this could be reload, and this could be a grenade, because you don't need to, spontaneously, you don't really need to, uh, throw a grenade or reload your gun. That's why they are on the R and the G keys, right? Because you want to keep your fingers on the movement keys more often. So by putting this one here where I can melee with my thumb, uh, I can panic melee a lot easier. So that's going to be nice. So I guess that's all I have to say. I hope this mouse works better than my uh, Razer one. I'm kind of getting away from Razer stuff because um, I've had, um, this is my fourth keyboard. I went with a Corsair this time instead of Razer because I thought Razer was the bee's knees, man. Alright, I had, I got the Black Widow Mechanical. Oh, it was a nice keyboard, don't get me wrong, but it is loud, so loud. Then I got the Death Stalker, sent the Black Widow back, got the Death Stalker, and then not long the lights in it quit altogether. So it wasn't long before I replaced that keyboard too. Then I uh, just got my money back for that one because the lights quit. So then what I did was I bought another one and this one changed colors so that way if I wanted to change the colors of my setup I could but I'm pretty much going with red and black now. Um, I have red and black pretty much everywhere. The only thing, I guess my Google uh, browser needs to be changed a little bit because, see, this is my, uh, it's, it's Black Ops 3 is my background on Google, and then the top bar kind of continues that on, um, but, oh, and my background is not changing. There are all kinds of shit here. Um, I guess might as well install that Origin update, right? Um, but... Here, I've got kind of a red, I've got a red and black silver viper there. And then my bar at the bottom here is red. Um, and then, so if I get up here, you can see my chair is red and black as well. So, I'm trying to go with that. My PC hasn't, hasn't gotten all the way there yet. It's, it's white. With white lights. But I've got a red motherboard. And the graphics card that I'm going to get is going to be red. And then, then I plan to redo my entire build after that and get a new case, new wires, make it all red and black too. But I want to get a new desk. I like this desk, but I like the way I have it set up, but I want a bigger one. And there's a place online, uh, I've actually seen Level Cap, his desk, it is amazing. Um, it's a sit-stand desk. And they make a um, seven foot by seven foot one that's 30 inches deep and that's L-shaped and it um, is a sit-stand electric desk so it raises and lowers electrically. I really want to get that. But thank you guys for watching my video. I hope maybe this helps you decide if you want to get one of these mice or not. Do you call it mice or is it mouses? Josh. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed my video. It was a little long, though.